All right, I got this road done a couple days ago. Ah, ignore my orange fingernails. Anyway, it's getting kind of high and hard to reach up here. And like a month and a half ago, I ordered some wood from a guy over there. He hasn't come through yet. And I asked another guy to bring wood like a, last week. And uh, he's trying to change the kind of wood on me. So it's probably not going to be here for at least a few more days. But right now I want to see if I can figure out how to get up there, even without putting the second floor in, in not too dangerous of a way so I can continue doing the concrete. Yeah, not too dangerous of a way. That's the trick. Because now I have kids. I can't just risk my life and die because I have kids who rely on me, which is also why I have orange fingernails. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I have to be safer than I used to be. Hmm. See, if I could get the floor in here, it would be no problem because I could put something up on top of the floor and then reach up higher. No problem. But right now, you know, this is almost at my shoulder height, so putting the thing up is going to be over my head and I have to dump the stuff in there and reach around. Yeah, I just don't think this is safe enough at this height. So the, the original wood I was going to get was cedro, cedro, uh, which is kind of like cedar. But the one guy who can bring the wood soon, who I asked last week, he said he has laurel now. And I think laurel is fine for the floor. It's actually lighter, still pretty strong, but I need to check with someone to make sure. One, that it's good for a floor. Two, that it's, you know, fairly termite resistant. I know the floor is like eight feet off the ground, but I still don't want it to be, you know, like a big candy bar for the termites to crawl up and get. And uh, I also need to check if Laurel should be cheaper than cedar, cedro. So I might need to change the price on the guy too. So I guess I should kayak over to my friend's house and inquire. I do have sufficient Spanish to ask these questions too. Yesterday I decided to whip this thing out. I got it a few months ago for free from a guy who was just clearing out some stuff. So, if these other guys don't come through with the wood, maybe I'll just start cutting my own. I've got a ton of trees over there on the farm. I, my big piece of land we're referring to as the farm. It's the 24 acres on the, the big island over there. <laughs> Check this guy out. Paddling down the canal, singing a song. Whistling some tunes. I think I'll go cut the rest of this log now. See if I have enough to cover that drawbridge over there. Oh, and I just received a report. The refrigerator may not be working. Well, the report I got was that the refrigerator is not working, but hopefully it's maybe working. Let's see. Oh, okay, so with my, my wood for the floor in here, I talked to, I paddled over to my one friend and asked him about laurel wood. And he said, yeah, it's good for the, the floor. And then I asked my other friend, he said, yeah, it's good for the floor, but it should be a bit cheaper than the cedro. So then I paddled over to the guy to tell him, yeah, I'll take the laurel, but I want a cheaper price. But he wasn't there. But I told someone that I was looking for him, so maybe he'll just come over today or something. <sighs> I don't know. I know the guy wants money, so. Of course, since I have my wood chopper going, I could just do it all myself. Then I'll add some time to the construction. Oh, and the fridge is in fact not working. 
So those guys are emptying it. And I'm going to operate on it, see if I can make it work. Hopefully it's just some stupid little switch. So here's the refrigerator situation. I've got it opened, and I've been looking at everything. All this stuff was all right. And I checked that electricity was getting to the compressor. And then this area here had this plastic cover like jammed on there. You, you couldn't really get it off, but I just kind of ripped it off. And then I found that there's one of these like cheap, the junky electrical connectors right here that just rotted through and right fell off, this right here. And that's where this should be attached. So I'm going to take this, wrap it around, and I don't know, maybe, maybe attach a binder clip to it to hold it in. Yeah, that'll pass inspection. Anyway, I'm just very excited that when I attach that wire to that, the fridge turned back on, so I, I think I'm going to be all right. Oh, I managed to get the old thing right off. Basically, I just touched it a little, and it disintegrated. So I didn't want to touch this very much because it's like kind of barely hanging on there because the plastic case around it disintegrated. Anyway, so I can actually use one of these and get it on there. And I bet a million dollars that in the world of planned obsolescence, these have a known degradation value. Anyway, this is a perfect example of planned obsolescence. They they hide the, the parts that'll break easily first under a cover that has no obvious way to come off and you just have to pry it off. Maybe there's some way to get this off without breaking it, but I just had to, I just pried it off. Yeah. Anyway, now that I've gone through that, I, I think I'm, I can fix it. All right, I got my little connector back on there, and I smeared it with Vaseline, and I'm going to do that to the other one, because that keeps oxygen from getting to it and will help prevent them from degrading as fast. All right, let's plug this in. Hopefully it makes a humming noise in a second. Sounds right. Nothing's exploding. Little lights come on. They were doing that before anyway. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. Okay. Now, nothing else breaks.